When I started working with the children in 1965, there was no special education for kids with disabilities. People actually kept their kids at home or placed them in an institution. Some kids were blind, some kids were, were in wheelchairs, others couldn't hear. We put on track meets and we put on shows. Uh, we even put on Mary Poppins where I taught the kids singing and dancing and twirling baton. You know, as rudimentary it was, but they learned music. They learned to, to move their feet if they could or they moved their wheelchair to music. So it was that kind of activity. It was actually in August of 1967 that Dan Shannon, the vice president of the Park District, and William McFetridge, who was president of the Chicago Park District, came out to West Pullman Park to see my program. They were amazed that these kids were able to do what they could do. They knew they had the program, but they hadn't really seen it. So they asked me that night, what can be done to get more people to bring their children out of the closet in Chicago to come to our parks to get this kind of a program? In July of 1968, 1,000 athletes and their families came to Chicago to participate in the very first Special Olympics Games. They came from 26 states and Canada, and through their courage, competitiveness, and grit, helped change the way the world saw people with disabilities. I didn't do it all myself, there's no question about it. The Chicago Park District has done so many events. President McFetters was head of the, the biggest international union in the country and he was president of the park district. And it was those unions and organized labor that empowered Ann Burke to produce something spectacular. Ladies and gentlemen, in ancient Rome, the gladiators went into the arena with these words on their lips. Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. And from those first games on, each and every athlete has shown with their strength and character, there are no limits to what we can achieve when we come together.